Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Over. Oh, he's got it! His first goal! The French striker! Get in, my son! There he is! Well, how did he even get through the traffic there? He's just wheeled through and got on the left, off the sidebar. In a Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild, FIFA 17, AC Milan. This is the season finale. It all comes down to this to see if we can clinch the title. We've got promotion, there's no doubt about that. But we've got Frozenone up in the next game and that will really tell us the story if we're going to take out the division title. The other story is uh, that's developing is Lazzari and Mancini fighting it out for the top scorer uh, this season. Lazzari is on 14 goals, Mancini on 12. I'm going to give them both plenty of opportunity here to get some goals in the the final three games and uh, see who can come out on top. But before that, we do have a player upgrade to do. This will probably be uh, a little bit of a longer episode, but uh, sit back, relax, enjoy it. Uh, let's get into this one. All right, today's player is for Diakabi, our new centre-back. Um, this one comes from Jordan Sim. Thank you very much for your comment. He wanted the number 77, some Adidas X17 boots. Now, I couldn't find those on the catalogue or anything, um, so I've got Adidas X17. I think they're 16. I went blue and red because you went blue and red on the bracelet. So, you know, just trying to match things up there. Uh, Grey ankle tape, an untucked tight fit shirt, short sleeves, the red and blue wristbands, and high socks. So, Diakabi is ready to patrol that back line with Diaz. All right, here we go. Finally back at the San Siro. It was a long road trip there, three games in a row. But uh, we are back at the San Siro in one of the most important games probably of the season hosting Frozenone, who sits second on the title race. And uh, if they win today, it will make things really interesting. If we win today, that should be pretty much top spot sealed up. So uh, everything to play for, and hopefully the boys are ready and fit and firing and looking to score some goals. Lazzari will start up front today, Mancini on the bench. Lazzari with a two-goal buffer on Mancini as they fight it out to see who will finish the top scorer for Milan here in season number three. So there you can see, goal difference, well, we've smashed that one. So if it comes down to equal points, we're definitely going to finish on top. But uh, we don't want to do this the hard way. We want to beat Frozenone today, wrap things up, and uh, then we can just move on and finish off the season. Here's our starting lineup. It's Conti, Kelkan, Diaz, Diakabi, Sandoval in at left back. Misseroli in the central midfield position, partnered up by Zhao. Giordano on the left, Clausen in the midfield, Suk on the right, and Lazzari up front. Milan looking to wrap things up here for the season. Let's get into it. Misseroli with a good touch on. He slips this one forward, Lazzari. He creates something here, Lazzari. Pushes on forward, uses his pace, works his way into the box, slips it off. Misseroli. Well, his finishing is absolutely disgusting. Sook delivers the ball out wide. Giordano. Cuts through the deck nicely. Giordano takes the strike straight into the defender. And they clear it away. Oh, Klausen gets the steal. Pushes on forward the Dane. Slips it off. Lazzari gets in. There it is. Well, that's his 15th goal for the season. He takes a 3-0 buffer now on Mancini. And well, Klausen with a cracking steal and just slipped it in perfectly. Lazzari first time finish near post. Get in there. 1-0 Milan over Frosinone. And the championship is one step closer. And there's the whistle. Half time, it is 1-0 to Milan. Free kick for Frosinone. 48 minutes gone. It was Sandoval, the culprit of the free kick. This one comes into the box. Diakami gets up. And Sook. Does well, Sook. Just holds up his man. Gets a few challenges in there, but can't come away with a clean ball and eventually puts it out. Slips forward off to Clausen. And that's a great ball off to Sook. Oh, he had more time. Waits for the run. Gets it here from Letsari. Letsari. Oh, just one. Oh, Mancini with the steal. Kaplan inside. Mancini. Oh, save. Unlucky. Slips it forward. 
Kelkan! Oh, save. Well, it's a corner now. Watson to deliver in. Into the box. Diaz. Oh, just wide. Oh, Sandoval gets the steal. Watson forward. Mancini finish. No, Mancini. He is hunting those goals. He wants to catch up. And he's just rushing himself a little bit. And he misses completely. Well, there's the whistle. A 1 0 victory. Let's hurry with the goal. And that should clinch us the league title. 11 shots to 2. We absolutely crushed them. 21 tackles. And uh, let's say with an 8.4 man of the match. All right, here we go. The penultimate game of the season. It's Latina hosting Milan. Mancini starting up front today. He's got three goals. A hat trick here would be absolutely hilarious. But uh, yeah, let's just get into this one. Oh, geez, he's got a bit of a bung face. I'm sorry for the lad. All right, let's just get into it. There's, there's no talking. Let's just fucking win this because uh, we've clinched the title. We've just got two games to finish off. Let's do this. Good work from Taylor. Lagging off. Down the wing. Frazier's made the run for him. Reese Frazier. Oh, fuck me. Well, we've got the free kick. And it is lagging off to deliver. Whips it up. Whips it high. Diaz! Oh, he got low just to get the shot away. And he's put it high. Rocher. Mancini. Slips it forward for the run. Here's Taylor. Back inside. Mancini. Oh, unlucky. Frazier slips it forward. Finds the lagging off. Here he gets the run forward. Mancini. Come on. Oh, Pinsoglio denying him again. Slips it off for Taylor. He comes forward. Here's Mancini. Mancini. Oh, Pinsoglio again makes the save. Denying him at every front. Frazier. Rocher. Rocher. Fraser, Mancini, get in, oh, Pinsoglio, he's denying Mancini every opportunity, Mancini's had four or five attempts, and Pinsoglio is the wall in his way, it's another corner, into the box, he's going to come back out, here's Taylor, can he get the cross in, back post, Rocher, can't get up, Freese, whips it in, back post, Laganov, oh, it's got in, is it an own goal? I don't know what the hell's going on there. Freese has popped it into the box. And does it come off the defender? Yeah, it's an own goal off the chest plate. And that's the only way you're going to beat Pinsoglio today, man. Cheney's thrown everything at him and it's taken an own goal to give us the lead. Oh, what was that? That was piss poor defending, boys. Fuck, they've been on the piss already. You haven't wrapped it up just yet, boys. Not sure what Lombardi did there, but he just dropped it down. Conti not sure whether to come out or not. And Latina get the goal. One all. Laganov. Oh, there's the whistle. So one all at half time. Taylor slips forward. Mancini. Mancini. Oh, come on, ref. Fuck me. Right, free kick here for Latina. 64 minutes gone. We've just brought on Lazzari for Laganov in a centre forward cam roll. Diaz gets up. Here's Sook. He's just checked in as well. He does well, Sook. He's got no help whatsoever, though. Has to hold up the play, and then gets dispossessed. Sook. Lazzari. Can he play something through here? He can. Frazier! Oh, save. Mancini. Lazzari. Sook. Oh, come on! Jeez! Well, there's the whistle. A one-all draw. It was an own goal. So it's still a three-goal difference between Lazzari and Mancini going into the final game of the season. Twelve shots to four, but only five of them on target. And unfortunately, we didn't get the job done today. Ugh. All right, let's move on. All right, youth player wants out in Thomas Moore. All right. All right, Thomas Moore, Canadian centre midfielder, 64 overall, 82 to 92, potentially technically gifted. We're going to offer him a contract. 
All right, here we go. Final game of the season. Milan at the San Siro hosting Carpi. And the interesting thing is that Carpi are actually in second position now. So first versus second in the final game of the season. We've wrapped it up. We will lift the trophy at the end of this game. So it's just a formality. Mancini and Lazzari. Well, there's three goals between them. So you can't see Mancini scoring a hat-trick here at the end because he's not starting. But uh, we'll try and get him on at some stage. And you never, never know. Stranger things have happened. Let's go. Steal from Klausen. Lazzari. Lazzari. Oh, save from Belic. And it will be a corner for Milan here in the wet. Sook to deliver in. Diaz gets up. Cleared away. Klausen. Gets the run forward. Misseroli. On side. Finds Yao. Lazzari. Sook. Oh! Oh! Did the keeper get a touch? No, he did it. Just a rocket from Sook. Sook. Diaz. Can't get there. Sook to deliver. Here's the cross. Into the box. Oh, Kel Khan! Kel Khan can do it! Oh, his second goal of the season. And once again, it's that man with the delivery. Sook. Brilliant. And a class finish from Kel Khan. Makes it 1-0 Milan. And we're making rhymes. Get in. Oh, great work from Diaz. And then slips the ball away. Sook just pumps it down the line. Buys us some time. Oh, Misseroli with the steal. Lazzari. Does well, Lazzari. Needs some help here. Off to Klausen. Oh, dropped. Well, there's the whistle. Half time, 1 0 Milan. Right, Mantini comes on at half time. Lazzari goes back into a cam roll and Klausen comes off. And here's Sook. Pushing on forward immediately, Sook. Oh, Mancini, what have you done? You've just run straight back into your own player. Oh, come on. Soft, boys. Fucking soft. You need to know when to clear a ball. Dear Carby just popped it straight back out into the... Oh, and Conti misses out on another clean sheet. Straight off him. Oh, one all. Lazzari. Sook. Plays it off. Mancini. Oh, same from Belic. Sook. Picked off. Mancini with a good touch. Sook. Mancini! Oh! Oh, Sook. Does well. Can he get the delivery right? Slips it off. Oh, Lazzari! Oh, Lazzari! He's going to have the last laugh. It's 2-0 Milan. Lazzari with his 16th goal of the season. And look who it is again. Sook with the perfect delivery. Bam! Lazzari smacks it home. And it's 2-1 Milan. Oh, good work there from Diaz. Lazzari finds Mancini. Oh, unselfishly off to Misseroli. And he slips it off. It's Christopher Freese. Oh, save. Oh, Sook. And it's Lazzari again. Pushes in. Lazzari. Oh, get in. There it is. 17. Boom. 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 Yeah, get in. 3-1. And Lazzari's lit it up in the last 10 minutes. Show Mancini how it's done. Brilliant finish. Get in there, my son. And that will pretty much wrap up the season. And there it is. Victory. We take the title. The Calcio B is ours. And now we go on to the top flight where our new challenge against new top teams Oh, well, what a road this has been. Three seasons. We've built this team. It's predominantly still youth academy players. Only a few regens into the side. And it's been enough to build this team and get us up to take on the big dogs in the Italian Football League. And then we can press on and try and take down the Champions League as well. So, Diaz, our scout future star, the centre-back, the man that does the job here. Day in, day out. Gets to lift his first trophy for the club. And it is AC Milan coming back from the ashes.
to push their way for promotion. And now we get... Oh, that's a nice trophy. You can see straight through it. Don't drop it, Diaz. Oh, be careful, son. But we are the champions of the Calcio B. And the rewriting of these history books can continue now. Beautiful. What a team we've built here. And it's just surreal that some of these players that don't really have the potential at all, the Mancinis, the Laganovs, the Giordanos, the Sooks, are really absolutely complementing this team. And they're just getting the job done for us. So as we see the trophy roll around. Oh, good to lift it at home as well at the San Siro. These fans have waited three seasons, of course, for Milan to be back in the top flight. And from next season, we start the road towards Champions League glory. Well, team photo time. AC Milan, Kelsey OB champions. Well done. Right, so 15 shots to two. We came out and absolutely smashed it. And uh, Sook with a 9.5 gets a man of the match performance. Great effort from Sook. All right, so we got a 5 million injection into the budget uh, for winning the tournament. All right, this is the final U squad report for the season. Shinauda 84 to 90, Vojic 77 to 91, uh, Christabel Orellana is a 57 overall, 80 to 94 goalkeeper. Uh, Bilal Abubakar is a 87 to 93, Alessio Gallo 78 to 94 right back. Fatty Abubakar 86 to 92, Nicola Giordano 61 overall, 73 to 94 potential. Uh, this kid will definitely be making his way into the side. Uh, I'm not going to promote these lads. We'll wait until the start of next season and uh, see what positions we have available. Placido Ponche, 85 to 91. Riley Walker, 81 to 87. And Isaac Hughes, 86 to 92. All right, we are in Uruguay and there is absolute talent all over the place. We've got uh, Sancho Nunez, 69 to 94. Zacharias Palacios, 72 to 94. Fabio Miranda, 70 to 94. And well, Enrique is pretty rubbish, but uh, these two lads right here could possibly come in. I'm gonna wait another month and hope that they don't get picked up just to see if that overall sort of narrows a little bit. All right, we are in Belgium and we've got Florian Van Dam who looks pretty decent, 72 to 94. Uh, Victor Goosens, great name. Lucas de Klerk, 75 to 94. So some decent Belgian talent there. We'll scout them further. All right, we are in Sweden, and there is one man here that is definitely getting signed up. That is Anton Henriksson, uh, 57 to 75 overall, 79 to 94. And uh, if you've been around the channel a long time, you may know of the Newport County series. We had a Swedish man, the Swedish meatball, Matthias Blomqvist, and he had the same sort of look. Um, we're going to sign this lad in because he could be something special. All right, let's have a quick look around. And Tom Tops, who we left. Uh, in January, were bottom of the table. They'd only won two games. We gave them a few extra players like Konstantinov and the likes, and they've managed to move up to 14th. So it looks like they're on the up there. We will continue to monitor their progress. I have all the players shortlisted, so if anyone comes in to try and buy our, our players from Tom Tom School, we'll definitely know about that. Taking a look at the top scorers for the league, and it was uh, Antonucci from Ferrara with 20 goals, and Castro and Castro both with 20. Uh, Letsari finished with 16 in sixth position, and uh, Mancini makes the list in 24th with 11 goals in the Calcio B. Assist-wise, let's have a look here. Sook with 10 assists. 10 assists for a man with no potential, and uh, probably only got a handful of games as well. Clausen had eight. Um, Mr. Rowley had seven. Not a bad return from the midfield. It's, oh, Sook, what a legend. Clean sheets. Conti takes the golden glove with 13 clean sheets. And uh, he didn't even play the full season because Santoro was our starting goalkeeper. So, um, yeah, that's, that's really good. That is really, really good. Um, Santoro would have been on here, but he would have left because he went to Porto. Yellow cards, well, did we pick up many of these? Not really. And red cards, I'm not sure we even got one this season. All right, so let's have a look at some stats here. Lazzari, 16 goals. Mancini with 11. Um, six extra appearances there for Mancini. Roche chipped in with six. Giordano, five. Laganov, five. Klausen, three. 
and then it sort of just trickles on away. Um, but yeah, a very good, very good performance from both, well, from everyone in the team this season. And taking a look at the average, the player of the season is Christian Kelchan. Um, a 7.9 average up there with Letsari. So I guess they split it, but uh, must give Kelchan because his name begins with a letter higher in the alphabet. All right, let's take a look at the objectives. Youth development, make three million profit from a youth player sales within two seasons. Well, I'm pretty sure we sold Santoro, so that should have been done. Um, we've raised the eight million, and we've got all of those completed. And financially, well, I'm sure that one will be ticked over as well. We're at 33%, and we only needed 15. Right, time for the final squad report of the season. Conti is up to an 80. He went up 11 with a lot of training this season. Kelkan 73, gone up two. Diaz, 75, went up five. Diakabi's a 73, went up two. Uh, Thomas Ricard is a 70, went up five. Su Xiao, 66, went up four. Minjay Suk, 69, went up four. Mr. Rowley's a 71, went up four. Klaus and 73, went up four. Uh, Donald Taylor's a 70 now, he went up five. Lazari is an 80, he went up three. Uh, Mancini's a 71, went up six, and he's only growing through training. Uh, Cunningham is 71, went up 10. Giordano was 69, went up four. Oliver Free, 70, gone up six. Pierre Rocher, 69, gone up six. Uh, Lombardi's a 71, gone up three. Christopher Free, 70, gone up five. Musa Bamba, 59, gone up two. Sandoval's a 70, gone up four. Reese Fraser, 65, went up six. Lev Mozarov, 60 now, went up three. Laganov's a 67, went up three. Voyanov, a 61, went up one. Dave Watson, a 65, went up two. Emmanuel Dior, 65, went up five. Simon Orbit is a 57, went up two. Reese Bank, 71, went up three. Just back from injury, not in time for the final game, unfortunately. Ahmet Kaplan is a 70, gone up three. Thomas Moore, we've just signed in, is a 64 overall centre midfielder. Uh, what's he got? Four star, four star, but low, low work rates. Uh, we'll see what happens with him. What's he? He's an exciting prospect. Uh, Hassan El Masari is uh, 64, went up one. Lucas Cooper, 65, went up three. Rashid Al Basir went up six out on loan, and we can see because he was in the Italian league, 15 appearances for three goals, not a bad return. Branko Alanovic, 63, went up five. Uh, Ferhat Belgazi, 67, went up four. Played 27 appearances for Pisa for five goals and an assist. And that is our full squad. So uh, some of these lads, we'll wait and see. I'm pretty happy to keep most of them around. Voyanov, well, he is serviceable, but uh, I think CDM is probably our, our biggest concern moving into season four. We're gonna come up a lot against bigger teams with a lot of pace, and we're gonna need strength and determination across the board. So we'll be looking for new regens, and uh, then we'll assess which of these younger lads can make their way to Tom Tomsk and uh, help out in the Russian league. Right, so that's where we will wrap up this season finale. Finishing on top, clinching the league, and now we are into the Calcio A. We'll be back with a massive window in the transfers because there'll be new regens floating around. There are some tasty treats out there. I've already been scouting around. Um, but then there'll also be the new regens that come in, which probably won't be available unless they're on the free agency list. But uh, we can go out. We can definitely have a sniff around. But uh, I've been monitoring some players in the background. Hopefully we've got some money to play with next season and uh, can go out and buy some big talent to bring into this team as we push up into Calcio A and then eventually look for some Champions League glory. Thanks very much for tuning in for any video on Season 3 or the whole series. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.